Hey everybody, good afternoon. And um, let's go to space. Hope everyone's doing well. I am going to get back into the uh, stream save here and um, continue from where we left off. We left off Kerbal after having completed some successful missions for once. <laughs> um, and uh, now we have uh, science points to spend, so I guess that's where I'll start. Um, good morning, superhero. Yeah, we had uh, some wa wacky missions that should not have uh, gone well, and it, we, I guess the highlight of which was the, uh, the landing on Midmus, um, resulting in uh, several thousand uh, trick points. Um, and uh, probably some kind of achievement. Um, and uh, yeah, so now here we are. Um, and we have all the science. So let's go shopping. I think um, probably the, the one that we have to get is uh, um, the rover wheels, because I think it's just going to be too fun to make a dumb car. But I'm going to look at everything and just sort of double check that there isn't something that's really useful. I mean, having a greenhouse would obviously be really nice for um, all kinds of space spaces, which it would be, it would be cool to like start setting up like some kind of space station around Kerbin and then like a, you know, a lunar thing. Um, they are going to become important once we start uh, ferrying up fuel and things to uh, um, enable some longer distance uh, missions. But anyway, yeah, let's just take a little peek here. So we got some. This is this is the absolute worst one. Advanced landing. Who needs to land in an advanced fashion? I feel like you just kind of hit the ground and usually it's fine. Um, got some aerodynamic parts here. Fan shrouds. Yeah, I mean, that'd be nice, but it's clearly not that important. Um, and uh, heavy landing field science. So this is, this is the... Uh, here that gives us the good rover wheels, and I think it also gives us some, some other nice stuff here. Let's take a look at that external seat. Um, scanning device contains a set of passive and active sensors designed to quickly hone in on interesting features. So that's going to let us... The scanning arm we haven't used much, but this apparently will locate things nearby to use the scanning arm on. Um, and then this is some kind of uh, probe and battery system. I don't know. Seems good, though. Um, yeah, but who doesn't want to bounce, Octosco? We gotta bounce. <laughs> Upgrade to, like, a more advanced trick. Um, these are the really good uh, probe cores, and I think... Um, see, one of the problems we have with our distant probes, and, you know, those probes could, could get us some really good science. The, the planets that are further out, um, uh, the science values for just, like, basic orbital scans are, it's pretty, pretty nice. I think, um... Yeah, so this this core, I think, is self-sufficient. So previous probes, we've had an issue where our um, our antennae don't uh, don't always make contact with Earth um, based on just sort of orbital stuff. And then once we lose control, we just can't do anything with the probe. This would allow us to maintain control of the ship even though we've lost contact with Kerbin. Um, now, that doesn't solve all the problems because we still need to transmit the science 
back to the planet. However, what that would mean is that the ship could just kind of exist out in space until such time that it uh, reconnects and then it could transmit all the science. So as long as we have like command of it, um, it can keep collecting science while it's uh, while it's out in space and then eventually it can um, reconnect and give us all that all those points. This looks like more um, sciencey stuff for like surface um, experiments. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. I guess it's just like hard drive space? Extra hard drive space? <laughs> no, no, it's weird. Um, I feel like we don't usually run out of space. Maybe we do. I just haven't noticed. Hard drive capacity upgrade. Increase in platter density. <laughs> weird. This is the automation. Drone core. There's so much lore, I don't really even know what this does. Uh, I don't know that that's necessary at the moment. Um... <laughs> uh, true bacon face, yeah. Um... We need to cultivate AI power, I guess. Uh, to get there. Let's see, big batteries on this uh, tier, and... Rover Adapter. Lowers your rover's comm, provides plenty of power and attachment surfaces and extra clearance for wheels. Oh, so it's just like a nice base for your rover. That's nice. I don't know what these transducers do. This is getting into, like, power stuff that I'm not super familiar with yet. Um, and then like a massive solar panel array. That's kind of fun. Okay, so we know kind of generally what all this stuff is. I mean, I'm still a little bit keen on the uh, field science and then maybe um, maybe like uh, one of these ones down here, but let's take a look at the top end of all this. So actuators, which leads up to the large deployable universal mining auger. I haven't really looked like read up on the mining. I'm not I'm not sure whether I want to dive into that just yet. This is all structural pieces, which sounds boring, but could actually help a lot. Um I don't know about the solar sails. That's probably good for later, but maybe not necessary right this second. Um but yeah, these structural panels wouldn't be terrible. Advanced metalworks, I can already tell we're not going to be needing this. Although the inflatable airlock is nice. Um, large volume containment. Big tanks, heavy fuel tanks. Um, eh, that, that could be good to have. Um, And then, you know, propulsion stuff, which we haven't really upgraded in a while. Um, these are like wacky RCS blocks. This is... Um, oh, the separators, which allow us to more efficiently take off. I'm tempted to get this um, sometime soon. And then, yeah, and then we've got propulsion. And we're one, t one chain away. We Oh, this is 550. Okay, we cannot afford the high efficiency propulsion and the higher efficiency propulsion. We could do one and then the other. Um, yeah, this Poodle, let's see, what's the ISP rating on this? ISP meaning the um, efficiency rating. So that's 350 in vacuum. And that compares to the Cheetah, which is 355. So like what? Maybe the Poodle's better in... I'm not, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why you wouldn't just use a cheetah. Oh, 
Oh, this is liquid fuel. Or wait, I think the cheetah is as well. Yeah, the cheetah is as well. I don't really understand what's better about this. Um... Cats are better than dogs. Mm, I disagree on that front, but it's, uh, it's it's ordered correctly for my taste, Bill. But uh, I'm not sure why this is better. It does say that it can be stored in cargo, meaning that you you could build it. Uh, but so can the cheetah. Hmm. Cheetah could be built in space. I really don't understand uh, why this is better than the other one. There's got to be a reason. In vacuum, the thrust is 250 and 65 on a planet. Oh, okay. The Poodle is almost as efficient, but it's also a much faster engine. It's a much more powerful engine. Okay, it's like twice as powerful. So that solves that. And then this thing is just like... Looks like a massive... Designed to reduce the cost of launches as well as open up interesting possibilities for utilization of resources. Right, because this uses liquid methane. This is the first liquid methane engine, which means you could uh, mine liquid methane on a planet and then refuel a spaceship that was there. Um, so if you, I guess in theory, you could like start a moon base that then like has a liquid methane mining operation and that would be the way to get ships back from from uh did i say the moon i meant mars um or like some other distant planet you could you could get there and then refuel using uh using liquid methane doesn't seem like the most important category to grab but it's only 160. i think maybe that's like the next thing to get but i'm gonna probably spend um i'm probably gonna buy two of these 300 to get the best bang for our buck i'm gonna go with the field science here get these wheels and then probably the unmanned tech so that we can um maybe make some distant probes and try to reach other planets um that feels like it would, um, yeah, get science to get more science. I think that's that's probably the way to do that. Still refuse to buy this advanced nose cone. I don't. I don't know why. We can definitely afford it right now. Is it really important? Maybe it is. I don't know. We don't have a better nose cone. I mean, it says less drag. Maybe that's maybe that's something we should have. I wouldn't mind these either, like these two being the next. I feel like we shouldn't get too far ahead of the tech tree. We should probably grab some of this lower hanging fruit soon. Okay, well, let's go play with all our new toys. Oh, I love it, Superhero. I, I love how overly complicated it is. Um... Okay, let's build a rover. I think we gotta build a rover and then we gotta test it on uh, Kerbal, Kerbin. Um, okay, so this is our rove mate. Oh, it's gonna be crude potato. We're gonna have to do crude rovers. The <laughs> non-crude uh, rover did not really work. Plus, the scanning arm is really a great way to get science, and I think we, we really need it to be crude to to uh, make the best use of that. So, oh wow, it's huge. Okay. That's Rove Mate. So this thing has a battery inside of it. It has data capacity, sample capacity. Um, oh, I forgot to get the uh, Toby flag going again. Whoops. Um, oh, oh, cool. It's got like uh, classic Apollo gold uh, reflective styling. Uh, 
I almost made that joke about a bill, but yeah, I mean, it is, it's certainly going to be crude. Um, one way or the other. Okay. Um, nice. We need to make this like a sick tricked out rover. I think this is going to be, so what is the, so this is M1 and this is M1F. So this designed for smaller, whoa, they're huge. Whoa. Whoa! Oh man! <laughs> okay, we need a little bit more structure, I think. Although, having a small rover would be good. We're gonna just test multiple different versions of this. Oh my god, it is such a relief to have a a base that isn't like a uh, a wheelbase that's intended to be used this way and not uh, not have to do something stupid to make a rover. Okay. So we've got our wheels. Um, and I've disabled the steering on the re on the uh, rear wheels, so that's good. Um, so uh, let's just get like a basic thing down and then we'll we'll test it, you know. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, Get some solar panels on this sucker. That's kind of cool. What about, um, Oh. Oh, I wanted to make like a little roof. <laughs> Can't do it. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, potato. We're gonna be doing some lights. This is this thing is gonna be very tricked out. Um In fact I'm almost thinking like do we want like if this thing flips, do we want some kind of something that would unflip it like the uh the halo jeep heck you know um hey bobby how are you doing thank you for the subscription um yeah let's see onboard camera Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, let's see. Can we, like, make this bigger? Can we scale this whole thing up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. What about, like, structure stuff here? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, we're going to want a ladder so that people can, like, get into the seat um like a retractable ladder i think uh, i'm not sure if that will like pop the <laughs> that'll like collide with the ground it probably will i guess maybe it won't we'll test it um yeah, I was thinking about RCS potato. That would definitely work on the lower um, gravity. Um, lower gravity uh, planets. Um, so, like, we can put it like underneath. But I guess you'd want it at, like, an angle. Would you want them kind of like that? Well, if it was on its back, you would want it on the top. Yes. I guess we're trying to think of, like, two different scenarios here. But really, the scenario I'm worried about is that if it's on its back, you need some way to pop it up. And so I guess... Yeah, you'd want it on an angle, and... I guess just, like, all one angle, right? So, like, um... Oops. Something like, like this. 
you know? I wonder if that's too severe of an angle, though. I wonder if that wouldn't, uh... Wouldn't work. Maybe you'd want one right in the middle, and then, like, two angled like that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else can we add to this thing that'll be cool? I mean, the other thing is these hinges. You can use these hinges. Although they, they weren't quite as successful as I'd hoped the last time we employed that strategy. Um, oh, you know what we need? We need some sick spoilers. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh. Mm. Uh. How do we get this thing? Oh, I know how we do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we're definitely not going to flip over. Uh, I wish I could like change the color of this. I also feel like we do need some kind of Batman rocket boost. Um, maybe in the spirit of, of Batman, like the Michael Keaton Batman, we want um, just like a jet engine. Yeah. And then what is this going to run off of? Um, I don't know. Basic jet engine. Um, I guess it's probably just going to run off of liquid fuel. Uh, let's see. Um, what's a good... Well, we need monopropellant for the RCS. So where can we put that? We don't yet have the cool... RCS uh, tanks. Um, hmm, these might work. Just mirror them. They're kind of big, but yeah, they sort of clip with the thing. It's not really ideal. Uh, oh. Mm. There's not a lot of space. We should have made this thing slightly bigger. This is a bit overpowered, maybe, for the uh, size. Here, let's scale it down. Let's scale it down, and we'll just add a bunch of them. Two of them. Um, okay. I don't actually know if that's gonna feed that engine. I kind of forget what the, what that thing takes. Okay, we're gonna need batteries. Um, so big. Not just like one big one back there. Um, ah, we're going to need a lot more battery space than that. What about underneath? Oh, yeah. Like a... Oh, yeah! Oh, look at that. That's perfect. I say that's perfect. Mm, you don't want that flipping with the, um, with the ground if we're going over something low. Let's put it on top. And then uh, we'll move this kind of like sort of slam things around a bit more. Okay. Okay. You can go up here. Okay. Uh, I do feel like we need two seats. Um, how was I making this happen? Um, 
was able to get two seats working okay, but I guess, I guess it doesn't want to let me do it now. Um, one on top and one below? Oh my god. What about, like, a side bucket? Like a sidecar? That'd be pretty cool. Oh my god, wait a minute. We, maybe maybe I want to do that. I'd have to change the symmetry of some of this, but... Oh, it'd be so cool though, hold on. Hold on. Put that over there for now. So how would this work? You put just like a piece of structure out here. Maybe another rogue mate? Uh, yeah. Can that just like snap? Oh, man. Oops. <laughs> okay. There, there we go. Okay. And then... What's going on here? Oh, it thinks this is forward. I see. Um... I get it to rotate the way that I want it to. I guess I just manually rotate it. <laughs> oh no, there's no air for the spoiler. It just looks cool. Um... Hmm. I guess the question is, how do we get our sidecar to... Well, this might work okay. It's going to put it off balance a little bit, but... How does the sidecar actually work? Usually there's just a wheel underneath, right? There's just like a little wheel down here. Oops. It did do the dumb thing, didn't I? There's just one, one more wheel on the side. Okay. Like a dummy wheel, kind of? Just, like, out here? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A smaller spoiler for the sidecar. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, how are we going to do our panels now? The symmetry is a disaster. Um... It just does not want to... Okay, maybe, um... <laughs> when you have cool factor... Possibly not. Uh, okay, so... Yep. All right. I guess we'll go with the gold here. I'm just a little worried that the steering on this wheel is not gonna... We'll disable steering on that and then... Um, maybe just disable the motor, I guess. Yeah. So it's just kind of along for the ride, just for stability. Um, Oops, no. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect. Um, okay, I think it's time to test this sucker. Uh, here, let's... let's um, and we got a name for this contraption? There's a way to like. Mm. I'm not sure. Here, let's go crew. Potato can drive one. 
Who else is in chat? I guess Apple's in chat. Um, <laughs> unsafe at any speed. Cool bot. The vodka sidecar. I like the sound of that. Got a nice ring to it. Um, okay, saved. Is there any, any glaring things we're missing here? I feel like this is a pretty good like test vehicle. I think we can we can give this a shot. And see how this goes. Clearly, everything's gonna go fine. I mean, I can't imagine what uh, what would go wrong with this machine. <laughs> the the sidecar does not have steering power. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Man, if this thing flips, you are just dead. I don't even know why I bothered putting anything on here for flipping because you're just super dead if it flips. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh man, the spoiler goes down when it engages. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh man. I like this Kerbal. I think that's Potato. Really happy. Apple, not so sure about this. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, all right, and now the question is, this jet engine, does it actually work? Oh, oh, I think we had a flame out or something. Oh no, that's all the uh, fuel. Or no, no, the fuel's there. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, you know what? There's no intake for the jet. Right. Because on the Batman car, the intake's on the front. It goes through the whole vehicle. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that part. What about the RCS? How does that work? Um, let's see. I guess we have to be in like docking mode? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, we forgot. I forgot to put fuel on it. Okay. All right, so two things that we need to, to kind of go back to the drawing board on. Uh, air intake for the jet engine aspect and um, and uh, we need to add some RCS fuel. The steering is a little bit strange. Um, the wheels don't turn much. I guess that's by design. I guess these aren't supposed to. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing. You know the funny thing is the sidecar actually does provide this thing with a little bit more stability. And obviously it's one-sided, but like it's better than not. Look how fast you can go. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the sidecar's a bit of a liability at top speed, but that's okay. We'll um we'll go back to the drawing board on that one. Um, yeah, possibly spinning. The fifth wheel may may be a, an issue in that it's sort of dragging everything, you know? But um, let's fix the important thing, though. Let's fix the uh, intake. Um, okay, so now that the intake is there, Batman style, we need, um, we need to move our ladder. Uh, you know what, frankly, do we even really need ladders? We can just, like, use our jetpacks to get up here. Maybe one ladder over here. We'll just leave this ladder here, and then the, uh, the main driver can use this one as well. Another sidecar? I mean, then it's going to be really... Well... Hmm. Maybe it just needs to be longer. You know, like the Batmobile. Maybe we should just make the Batmobile. <laughs> okay, I want to test these engines, so let's just immediately go right back in. Um, uh, let's see. This is monopropellant, so we'll put that. We'll put like one of those over on the left side. Maybe that'll like stabilize things. I don't know. Oh, 
not sure why I can't like rotate. Oh, there we go. It's A is the button that I need. Yeah, like that. Has to play the ladder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I'm thinking is a really long, but we don't have a black um, skin for our uh, base. So as a Batmobile, it would not be. Does anybody know of like a gold? Uh, some kind of gold car that we can uh, appropriate. So it looks like as you drive, it definitely does pull to the left because of that extra wheel. Um, and then at high speed, that becomes a bit of a problem. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, they're OK. OK. All right, let's practice getting on. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's, it's going very far away. Oh, and our, our jetpacks don't work on, uh, on Earth. Oh, man. Um, it's not very safe. We need some kind of roll cage, maybe. Which actually wouldn't be that hard to make. You could just use a couple of uh, structural pieces. Oh, hey, I think I fixed the. Oh, no, there's still that weird flickering shadowy thing. I did try to fix that ahead of the uh, stream, but it's, it's still a problem. Um, you know what I just realized? On Earth, there's no way to rock it up, so I hope this uh, ladder works. If the ladder doesn't work, then we're out of luck. I'm not even sure. Can I use the ladder from the ground? Hmm. OK, we can. And it does not collide. OK, excellent. Uh-oh. OK, I guess it needs to be placed slightly higher, but it looks like it's going to be relatively OK. OK, uh, wait, how do I? Ah, board command seat. OK. Um... Okay, I guess the uh, the car has no collision with the other Kerbal. Um, I guess you can also drive with the ladder down, which is weird. So yeah, it seems like the problem with uh, ludicrous speed is that um, this thing's going to just flip. You know what? I think Apple can test this on uh, on their own. OK, here we go. Um, oh, oh, no. Now we're just pushing Apple. Oh, the whole thing's all bogged down. OK, now we go. OK. Um, oh, 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 oh. We have a flat. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we lost a wheel. Oh, shoot. Uh, and we can't repair it. Uh oh. Well, let's try this engine. Hey, it works. Oh my god. Oh no, the ramp! Whoa! <laughs> Affable is going for the ride of their life. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like these as eyeballs. I just realized we made a face, an inadvertent face, because you got the mouth and the two eyes here. This is extremely good. OK. Um. So the sidecar is a, is a fun idea, but maybe it needs to be, maybe it needs to be removed, just for the sake of functionality. Um, because I feel like this thing, absent the sidecar, is like really looking good. 
Um, and then I guess, do we try making it a little bit longer? Let's try the Rogue Mate piece, and then we'll just sort of snap another one on, maybe? The gold is so ostentatious. Um, oh, why don't I have... Um, hmm. Oh, it doesn't actually like doing what I'm doing. It doesn't want this to happen. Okay. Um. Yeah, I feel like we want a little length, though, because I feel like it's just very prone to flip. But I wonder if part of that is the uh, spoiler. It might, absent the spoiler, it might be a little more stable, but um, where's the fun of that? Well, let's just try a non-sidecar version and see how it goes. Um, kind of curious what the uh, aerodynamic situation is. Let's go smaller spoiler too, just to see how that affects it. I wanna just experiment with kind of the um, profile of this thing. Could, I mean, I wonder if we could turn this thing into some kind of plane, like a, like a plane that turns into a car, like some kind of transformer. Okay, yes, much easier control in this form. And um, let's now engage our, our jet engine. <laughs> uh, you can just let off the gas because it's not even about that at a certain point. The rockets just take it over. Wow, it's pretty stable. The wheels are getting a little out of control. It, it does sort of want to take off eventually. But actually, you know... Uh-oh. Oh, wait. I think this is just, like, the ocean over here? Oh! <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, that was inevitable. Um... I think we experimented with retractable wings before, and um, it didn't it didn't work right. What about bigger wheels? Bigger wheels and like... thrust on this thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. So you really want the wings, like, back here. Um... I wonder if there's a way to design this thing where... It's just sort of foolproof and would never crash. Like, 
Could you do like another set of wheels? Like what happens with this kind of situation? It does seem like the Kerbal gets flung from the craft pretty easily. That's maybe one of the problems. Is there a way to, like, I don't know, tie them down? Maybe that roll cage needs to be investigated. Let's see, structural. Let me just put, like, one of these things over top of their head. I think this is foolproof. Let's try it. Yeah, there's a weird Twitch bug with that stuff. Uh, thanks for suggesting fixes, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, look at those wheels go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh my god. Alright, let's engage our jet engine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a severe turn. Oh! Oh my god, it's working! The wheel thing's working! Okay, I'm gonna slow down the engine. Also, Kerbal... Okay. You know what? It didn't keep him in there, but he, he didn't die. Um, but now what? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this may be, this may be hard to get back in. Uh, I mean, ultimately, this probably would be easier as an unmanned craft. <laughs> True potato. Yeah, I suppose the goal really is to make sure that the the rover doesn't blow up. You know what we could do is design it as a mancraft and then just put a probe core on it. Although I think does the rove mate have a probe core thing? I guess not. Hmm. I think the problem is actually that it's just I didn't build it big enough. See, as he's clipping through the whole thing. This is kind of amazing. It 
What's this? Whoops. Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna survive that one. It's really turning that's the problem. Turning at high speed. Well, maybe we do go, like, wider then. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was like some kind of monolith or what. Um, I also don't really have a good sense of how big this is. Let's drop this in. Oh, it's pretty big. Okay. Okay. Um, jet engines on the sides for turning. Uh, I love that idea. Um, I mean, in a way, the wings might help, even if they're just there, because they would probably stop it from flipping, you know? But the problem is I don't really know... They don't really... There's no space for them. They'd have to be like this. Oh my god. All right, wait, where are those solar panels? Did I just destroy them? I guess I did. Can they just like go on top of the wings? Oh man. Well, if they give us lift and we actually take off, then you know, we'll just fly. No problem. Alright, this was a good idea. I think a great idea, however. Unsuccessful, I think we're just gonna have to roll with it. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see what this does. I mean, yeah, we're either going to fly or we're not. We can't tip anymore because these wings will stop us. Well, the wings could just explode, I guess. The wings will probably just explode. Oh, wait, what? These are just hanging out in space. I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we probably need some way of steering once we once we take it off, huh? Racing. Um, just demolished. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it seems like going fast is just going to be a problem. It seems like maybe we shouldn't. I mean, I think I'm going to leave the jetpack, you know, just for fun. But maybe, uh, maybe ultimately our goal should be to not crash. I don't know. Um, kind of like that. Oh, I forgot to add any kind of science instruments. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. We just made a really big dumb thing and I, it, it can accomplish none of the tasks uh, for which it was designed. Um, emergency only jet engine. Yeah, I think it's like, a, you know, the mission's complete kind of jet engine. I think it's like, uh, now it's time to have fun, guys. Let it rip. all to have a mobile <laughs> a mobile science lab on top of it <laughs> would this even work hold on hold on hold on <laughs> we would get so much science and we could make this work it's worth trying because we could just put rockets on the side and then jettison the rockets you know to land hmm Oh my god. Oh my god. I kind of love it. Oh, we get so much science for this. If we can if we can figure this out. I'm thinking you just put rockets off the side and this is kind of like your landing craft. Oh, it's quite top heavy. Oh boy. Okay, this is like a very slow moving rover now. Um, you know the funny thing about the jet engine though, it might be worth having just in case that where you have to go up like a steep hill. Lay it outside suggests uh, Cordios. Thing is it won't snap properly there. Um, can we shrink it? No. It's got a minimum. Oh. We can shrink it, and um, I don't know how that affects it, but I'm willing to experiment. So let's see. Will that like reduce the number of like Kerbal slots, maybe? Okay, let's look at the crew. Okay, so that's two slots. It's normally two slots, though. Oh, now it has no slots. So the minimum... The minimum scale is that. That's still better than the the other one. Um, uh, yes, Carson. However, we do have a mod that allows us to um, automate travel to different biomes, and I'm thinking that coupled with the mobile processing lab could actually be pretty amazing. Um, okay, we're gonna off that. Hold on. This is, I'm getting serious about this now. Okay, we, we no longer need these because they're gonna be pointless. Let's put that to the side. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna want that just smack on top. What <laughs> if the driver's seat's up here? Oh my god. This is looking like, oh yeah, oh yeah, maybe just in the middle. Oh my God. I kind of love it. This will be the top of our rocket, right? And then, so, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, bear with me. I know this seems crazy, but I think it might actually be good. I don't know. Let's see. So, uh, what I'm thinking is like something like this. So, um, mm hmm. Oops. Oh my god. I can't remember the hockeys. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, and then we'll land and then jettison the um, the engines. Although, how would we jettison the engines safely? Might not be able to. They might have to come along for the ride. Um, when did safety become a consideration? <laughs> Fair point. Oh boy. really excited about this. I think this might actually be the dumbest thing that we've done yet. Uh, oh no, we, we're going to want four so that the, um, yeah, like that. Oh, it's sort of clipping there. Let's go up. The question is, will this burn up all these parts? Um, we put it low enough where it doesn't, but still kind of get it around the outside? No. Uh, all right, let's 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 do an engine test. Um, it might just melt itself. I love this. Hopefully nobody tuned in hoping to like actually do space travel today because this is much more important to me. Okay, so we're going to want to like reorder this staging here. Oh, wait, no, that is correct. Okay, we're going to want to do that. Yeah. Okay, let's do a test of the landing engines. So are these, like, melting? What's going on? Um... They seem okay. I like that we can drive and uh, steer our, our engines at the same time. Bye! Actually, that's not a bad way to get rid of those. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's nobody on here. <laughs> um, actually, this begs the question, how would this thing get piloted in space if this is the seat? Is somebody in here? Oh, there's just no crew. Wait, how am I controlling it if there's no crew? Who's piloting this darn thing? I guess does this is this technically a probe core then? This this has uh, this has autonomous control. Okay, so what you do then is you land it using that, and uh, the kerbals just hang out in the mobile processing lab. <laughs> oh man, spinning! That would be a really good flag just how am I driving uh, as the bumper sticker Ooh, it's actually pretty stable because of the weight the extra weight of this lab is like really holding this thing down whoa okay um, all right let's go back to the hangar Uh, 
Um, <laughs> drive me to the moon, that's very good. Uh, what do we think? I mean, I think this is perfect. I'm not sure why somebody didn't come along, I guess because I didn't assign it. Um, so like, yeah, what we would do with this is like crossbow would be inside, and then I guess, let's see, I don't know, yeah, potato could be here. How would this work as like a... Um, space landing, though. I guess the person in the external seat would just be in their suit. They've run out of oxygen. I guess that's just not possible. So really only one person can uh, can come. Because this thing shrunk down only has space for one. But just for fun, we can have this seat so that, uh, you know... Occasionally they can get out and drive. Um, okay. So, science stuff. Oh, also we need... Um, before I forget, we're going to need um, all kinds of good communicator devices and blah blah blahs. Um, let's see. These are probably fine, for the moon anyway. Although I guess let's build this thing to last. Um, do high gain antenna and And then, um, science, science, um, this scanner, this new scanner that we picked up. I'm just going to throw one of everything on here, why not? Uh, mystery goo. Actually, do we even have cargo? Configure pod. Configure lab experiments. Ah, we should, we should do something here. Materials based study. That's probably what we want. And, um,. Oh, you know what? Probably more battery space. That's going to be something we need. And then, come to think of it, did I even add the panels that I was talking about? I did not. Um, It's a good configuration. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, except I don't want to block the ladder, so we'll do two of these. Okay, I think we're pretty close here to being able to slap this thing on um, on a rocket. I guess the question is, do we want, like, landing struts to kind of make this a little bit easier to land? Probably. Because the wheels are going to be a little bit tough.
All right, I don't know if this is gonna fit on our current rocket, but let's go see. Actually, maybe one more test before we commit. Um, let's make sure this all works. How's your power budget? That's a good question, Bacon. I don't know. Um, let's keep an eye on that. Oh, Carson points out the jet engine won't work on the moon. That's right. It will work on Mars. But yeah, maybe we should just get rid of it for, uh, for a moon mission. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. I don't like how the scanning arm is making the face go away. We gotta move the scanning arm. That's my big... My big, uh, feedback here. But then also, I just realized, I bet there's, like, science... Whoa. Oh my god. That's a terrifying view. I bet there's science on um, the planet here that we haven't done. Ooh, oh! Mm. All right. Well, <sighs> all right. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do two things. Um, actually, you know, if if um, if we never eject these, this will act as a pretty decent roll cage. But then we could also do like... Yeah, whatever I do is going to make it hard to get on a rocket, so let's not say that we did and move the scanning arm and call it a day. Okay. Love it. I don't see any problems with it. Oh wait, I do see one problem with it. Um, there's no life support. Uh, let's see. Whoa, that's too big. Oh, I wasn't watching the battery usage. I wonder if that was looking good or not. Um, let's just do a bunch of one-off stuff here. I guess the other question is, how, how am I going to get this person back, the scientist? Do we just kind of assume that... Um, we're gonna rescue them. Oops. <laughs> Got it, Bacon. Wastewater. Um, I guess that's more important. Do we have like way to? Um, let's see. I guess we want this all shielded and everything. Okay. Uh, 
Um, all right, yeah, we are ready to go here, I think. Um, so what do we have for food? Two years of food, two years of stress. <laughs> what? Um, excellent. Seems good. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to space. Let's load up the old... Uh, um, let's see, what are we going to load up? Gobbler 3 is our most recent variant. Yep. Uh, switch editor. Okay, now we're gonna replace most of this. We're gonna call this um, Rover Delivery Man One, pending a better name. Um, so we don't really need this part. This is just a satellite, basically. Um, this we also don't really need... Well, this is... That's the land of crap. We're going to just destroy all of this, I guess. Um, except for the probe core, because that part is technically the thing that's flying all of this, and if we destroy that, it'll be bad. So, yeah, okay. Okay. So, um, got second stage here. This is all configured fine, and now we're going to import our um, rover. Okay, so what if we just like did that? Right. So that'll work. Um, I guess what we're going to want to do is... So we need power for the ship on the way. Including batteries. Um, that should do. And then solar panels. And then what we'll do is like we'll scale this up, and then we'll make another um, stack separator. Yeah, I know, Octasso. I think this is actually going to work. Um, oh, uh, okay. So we can't quite get the fairing around these massive landing struts, but I guess, could we scale them down? If we scale them down, could we, could we still make this work? So, like, if we start them down... Ah, uh, see, they don't quite hit the... Hmm... I'm a little nervous about not using landing struts. I think we kind of have to. So, I guess we're just not going to use the fairing. That's my solution to that problem. Let's check the staging so that we go up these... No, 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 this is all wrong. Okay. Oh, God. Um, I forgot to take off the, uh, the jet engine. Sadly, we do not need it. We'll leave the spoiler, though. Um, 
Okay. Yep, looks good. So that's firing there. And our second stage rocket. That does that. And then um, our landing engines. I'm not positive that this is actually enough uh, fuel and thrust to get down safely, but I'm hoping that it is, and we're just going to kind of assume that it is, I think. Um, yeah, I actually feel like this is ready to go. Let's go to the moon. I forgot to assign the right quibble. We need someone who's a good scientist so that they can do the uh, science stuff. Um, might have to back out and re uh, reload here. Let's see. Not sure why these are so tall. Um, do we have a Kerbal? We don't even have a single Kerbal. Okay, revert flight two. Vehicle assembly. False alarm. Let's take this down a bit. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Herbal Crew. Should we put somebody the the command seat just for fun? They wouldn't, they wouldn't last though. It'd be, it'd be instant death. That's not a very nice uh, fate to consign somebody to. Um, okay, let's just launch. Oh, of course, volunteering. Uh, Court, I think actually you're not alive because you're you're sort of in between life and death right now. You died on the moon, but you're not like technically dead. The game is glitched out with you. I'm gonna have to like recreate you. You're you're kind of like a, in weird like Kerbal purgatory. It's a very strange situation. Not sure. Uh, not sure how to solve it yet. All right, so we're gonna do a pretty standard moon trip and then uh, land the sucker and we'll we'll see how it works oh I forgot to add RCS to the actual ship but that's okay we'll we'll just launch without it it's fine it's pretty heavy could be worse though Yeah, I'm curious to see if this survives without a bearing. I don't know. Aerodynamically, I'm not sure how the game's going to treat this.
we start putting parachutes on those? Whoa. I think I put the camera in the core of the earth. Okay. Here we go, into space. Really need those separators, actually. I uh, should probably prioritize those. Oh, there's a solar storm in progress. Good thing I finally remember to add shielding to our craft. This part I'm a little bit concerned about in terms of being uh, top heavy with this uh, wacky thing on top here. I don't want to end up in a death spiral, but we're nearing space so it should be okay. Alright, I think we're okay. Everything seems all right. Uh, let's see. Got plenty of uh, everything. I'm gonna roll all the way over and start to really get our orbit going here. Good, where's the moon? Ah, oh, there's the moon. God, if we wanted to get like the max amount of science, we would actually just go to Minmus. Maybe we should. Should I just call an audible here? Let's do it. Let's go to Minmus instead. We're gonna get so much more science by doing that. As long as we end up with enough fuel to do that, I think it is actually the right call. Um, we're gonna have to shut down and restart the engine to uh, maximize this orbital situation. <laughs> Pretty much like Costco. Um, actually, you know what? Oh my goodness, look at that! We have a perfect window here. Um, screw around with this so much that uh, we're going to end up missing our missing our burn. I guess I'm just going to burn and then we'll figure it out later. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Alright, this is 1600 to get there. Perfect. So we've got tons of Delta V, it looks like, on the second stage. Apple's just kind of along for the ride here. up on our second stage and um, I love that there's just a car strapped to the hood of this thing Oh, 
Oh, hey, it's the other moon. It's basically one of the Fast and the Furious movies you have. More or less. Um, Alright, so I would love to get a little bit closer than this. I guess we'll adjust with a secondary burn to try to get our, our Minmus Periapsis a little bit closer. So right now, it's looking like we're going to be um, 1.3 million uh, meters away, which is not that close. Um, here comes our cut off. It seems like we are going to have enough fuel to stop. The funny thing is, even if we don't have enough in the second stage, we can always borrow a little from the um, <laughs> from the uh, lander craft because I think that has plenty. Um, okay, so we have our. Um, Our burn completed. Now let's do. Well, let's give ourselves a few minutes here to adjust. And um, yeah, now we're going to try to hit this a little bit closer than uh, 1.1 million. Um, oops. Okay, so. Um, It seems like um, we're actually coming in a bit high, so we want to flatten out like that, and that is perfect right there. Uh, yep. It's 300,000 is totally fine. And we can probably slow it down or speed it up a bit just to get a bit closer. Wow, 48,000 if we hit this on the head. That is a really good orbit. Okay, so our node time is in eight minutes, so let's get to that. Um, This is where I wish we had RCS. Oh, I guess we do because it's on the car. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. All right, yeah, we can slowly move because of the dumb car RCS. Sided here. I'm gonna just sort of. Ooh, this isn't going. To, this isn't going as planned. Um, okay. I don't know. Mm, that was not a very good burn. We need to add RCS to our second stage. Let's see. What's the deal? Our Mims periapsis is still 1.3 million. Ugh, that was bad. Okay. Um. Uh-oh, I'm screwing it up. That's closer. Wow, it's like so little difference right now. 1.5 meters per second. I guess I'll just RCS burn that um, if I can. 
Hey, Breeden, we're going to the other moon, and we're going to try to land the dumbest car on it. Okay, I'm going to go to docking mode, and um, thrust forward, and this should uh, slowly... Oh, I can't thrust forward because of the way that this works. Okay. <laughs> Right. Well, that should have helped a little. Uh, okay, yeah, I think we're good now. Um, at the very least, I think let's just see what happens. I'm comfortable with where we're at. Okay. Um... Oh, wow, we can get some science done right now, even. That's cool. Okay. Let us get to here. Oh, wait, I think we're going to go around again. Uh, oh, no, I, I guess I guess we're good. Enough space on hard drive. Um, please get captured. At some point here, we're going to get captured by uh, Min Miss Gravity, I hope. There it is. Okay. Perfect. Now we just have to slow down. Uh, oh, we got plenty of gas. This is going to be easy. Okay. Where's that planet? It's somewhere. Can't quite. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So now we just got to do our slow down burn. Um, let's do it. Looks good. And then from here, we will do another slowdown, put ourselves in a very tight um, orbit of the moon. And, um, you know, I'm going to do something that I didn't plan on doing, but I'm going to leave this probe core on here and just manually decouple this stack separator, which will let this probe core, I think, transmit the data that it has stored right now. Um, yeah. Potato's in here, right? Or Affable? Oh, wait. Where's Affable? Oh, yeah, okay. Affable's in there. Okay. Decouple. All right. Um, oops. So this will now just sort of slowly transmit the data that it has stored. And this is now our ship. Um, <laughs> we need to disable the uh, wheels... Um, and, uh, oh, I forgot to, 
Hmm. You know what? That's okay. We'll just land from here, I guess. Um. Let's just throw the brakes on and we'll just land. Okay, this is extremely wacky, but um, let's see if it works. It sounds like hell. Okay, uh, we've got 23 ignitions on these guys. Um, uh-oh, it's pretty hard to steer. Wait, why can't I... Oh boy, it's really hard to steer. Oh, jeez. Wait, do these engines not have... Oh, no, they, they do have... Um... Oh, wait, I can't... I can't pitch left or right. Uh-oh. I am steering the wheels, but I'm not sure how to... Oh, maneuver mode, maybe? I better just slow down, because I'm like... Hmm... I can't seem to get the gimbals to do anything other than go up and down. Um, uh-oh. We're sort of spinning out of control. Um, uh, hmm. Um... Let's see. I'm going to shut down the engines. I don't know what's going on here. There's a way... Uh, oh, gimbal free, gimbal locked. Okay. Um, it's just weird because I can only do sort of up and down, as you can see. I can't get the gimbal to move the other direction. Is that because it just doesn't have, like, space to do that, maybe? Oh, gosh. Hmm. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's see. There's maneuver mode. Maybe maneuver mode is what I wanted? No, still just can't make the, the engines do this. They won't go left to right. I don't know why. Um, Oh boy, Affable's in trouble. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Breeden, but then I realized I'm not sure that there is, like, a spacecraft. <laughs> like, I don't know that there is a way to... Um, control it. I should have put a probe core on here and I resisted it, but it seems like maybe... Oh wait! Ah, uh, control from here. Control point up. Maybe forward? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's try this. No, I still can't turn them left to right. Um, oh, wait. I can if I... Oh, wait, I think I just got it. Oh, shit, it works. Oh, my God. Yes, we had to change the uh, control point. Um, it looks like it's not working, but I think it is. I think I just have to, like, slow it down more. Oh my god, it's working. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, it's just really unwieldy. Uh. Also, I don't... Abominable. Abominable. 
Okay, I don't know where we're heading right now, though. We All that burning is now... Okay, we've got to really, like, massively slow down, I think. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to manually control this sucker. I don't know what else to do. Now, the thing that made that so effective is that I wasn't... <laughs> the camera wasn't on the craft, so I just assumed that it did, like, explode. Alright, here we go. Ramping up our engines. We are full retrograde here, and this is going to work. And actually, you know what? Let's just take it to that point. I'm going to get a little bit fancier because I think... I think it's warranted. I think we're going to want to do like this, and then... Like that. Okay. Okay. Let's go to this maneuver. The other reason that always works is that with the way that the, like the engine quality thing functions, I just assume they're going to explode every time I light them. So when you, if I like have just turned on the engines and then I hear that noise, I'm just like, oh yeah, it exploded. Yeah, of course. Um, actually, you know what? We don't even need to do another burn. Let's just go to like this point and then just drop like a stone. I'm done being fancy. This is this is too scary. Okay. Ooh, cool view. All right. This seems like a good place to, to land. Let's just kick the engines on high and drop. God, steering this thing is so hard. Really not great sometimes. Um, but also, the gravity in Minmus is so low. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I think this is actually going to be okay. Um, except for the possibility of like kickflip landing, which, as we know, is um, very possible. So, which way are we rotating here? Can't quite get a feel for that yet. Minmus, um, if you didn't watch the last stream, Minmus is uh, spinning so fast that you kind of have to correct for the um, rate of spin with your landing. But um, why did my reticle just jump like that? That was strange. I'll assume that that was fine. Okay, I'm going to slow down a bit more now. I have no sense of, like, the rotation right now. Oh man, there's the Earth.
800 meters, going down fast. This might be a somewhat straightforward landing, partly because we're on really level territory here. Um, our speed's actually slowly decreasing as we go down. This is actually a very good, like, 1% thrust. Looking good. I think we're actually gonna hit the uh, the ground just as our just as our velocity goes down to like nothing. This is really nice. This is really really nice. Okay, I might have to cut the engines a little bit here. I'm not sure. We're still technically on now, and we're gaining a little bit of speed. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Going in for a nice, soft landing. No surprises. No surprises this time. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. We're down. <laughs> so a little bit of a bounce. But you know, you always want a little bit of a bounce just for fun. Okay. We are down. Look at this clearance. This is perfect. This could not... <laughs> it works every time. There is no time that it does not work. Just FYI. Um... That All right, here we go. Okay. Let's retract the uh, legs. Oh my god. This is kind of beautiful. This is this is amazing. Uh, I'm going to save. I'm not going to let some bug uh, get the best of us here. All right, so um, let's look at all our sciencey things. Affable has a two-year running clock that just started. Um, let's do all of our um, science that we can. And enable the lab. Um, scanning arm says no target in range, so I guess you have to find a target before you can use it. Um, where's, um, ah, okay, so the scan, been there, done that, done that, uh, it looks like this thing is scanning, so I don't know if that means that things are gonna, like, pop up on this guy? I'm not sure where the um, things of note for that scanner, where that's going to show up. Let's see, resource. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Getting a lot of uh, data, though. This is really good. Okay, let's try driving. Uh, I've got to re-enable the wheels um motor enabled motor enabled oh we should also disable the engines <laughs> very key step here um oh my god okay in low gravity, this is extremely unstable. Um, here's my thought. We need to get rid of these uh, these rockets. Uh, you can see I'm tapping W and the whole thing rocks backward. Um, if I rev the engines, 
even just a little and disconnect them at the same time, they'll fly off. I think that's the way to go here. I don't think we want to drop them at our feet. I think it'll uh, explode everything. Let's try it, but let's try it after we get all the science that we can get in this area. I think we want to we want to make sure that we're getting all the stuff that we can get. Uh, how are we doing for like resources and things? We seem good. Wow, that's cool. Oxygen's going down quite quickly, really. Um, that's not two years worth of oxygen. Somebody lied. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we are we are using all of these material studies that we got we are transmitting now and um so affable is essentially studying all this stuff on the craft and then transmitting the data um there you go Get some good science. So, yeah, the oxygen situation is a little troubling, but, um, uh-oh. The batteries are almost, oh my god, because of the, oh no, stop the lab, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot that all of these things are using electricity that Affable needs to live. Mm. Uh oh, we're out of electricity. Uh oh, life support are, is off. Oh, shoot. Oh man, we just hit a moment where we're in shadow for a really long time and. Batteries recharged. Okay. We got just barely enough light to recharge them. Yeah, so what I forgot is that. Um, the lab takes a lot of electricity, and it looks like by turning it on, it's just eating up enough of the battery that when we're not in a cycle where we have a lot of sunlight, then that's just not good. But it looks like we are now, so I'm going to turn the data back on. And just keep an eye on the, the sunlight situation, I guess. When um, There's a way to set this, actually, where... These things kind of click on and off based on um, uh, like when it goes below 20%, turn off the lab. Yeah. Um, and then when it goes above 20% or 80%, turn on the lab. Okay, I guess that's what I want. Not sure why this isn't transmitting though. Oof, this is another scary situation. Uh oh, affable feels cold. That's not good. Affable is freezing. Okay, so like, basically Affable is just like, barely able to stay alive every time this thing goes behind the, um... <laughs> hmm. Well, let's try to, um, let's try to get these rockets off of here. I think we need to move our rover. 
and the rockets are not going to help. So if we re-enable the engines... Okay, so we're going to have like a second here to kind of turn them on and then disconnect. Bye! Oops, they broke a lot of our solar panels. I should have retracted them first. Also, they're still flying. That That's really work. dangerous looking. Oh, and it didn't really change the profile at all. I still can't... I can't accelerate without this thing just toppling over. Okay, if I just sort of tap it. Just a little bit of a tapping action. Oh! Oh god. We're just basically popping a wheelie nonstop. Oh, that is... that is scary. That looks really cool, though. Look at that terrain out there. Ooh, I don't like how it's still accelerating. Oh, we gotta get going. Let's go, Apple! Choo-choo! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Um, so which way are we going? Are we going... Are we... Whoa. We want to be heading this way. Oh. I guess I want to turn left. Uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh oh jeez, put the brakes on, slow it down. No, top heavy. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, change control point. Oh, maybe. Um, control point forward. Ah, uh, that's gonna. That uh, doesn't do anything. That's it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but um, steering should be enabled there. Disabled there. Oh, okay, we didn't have steering, so that, that wasn't helping. But no, it's just a gravity situation. What I didn't anticipate is even though this works on Earth, uh, it's extremely top-heavy with lower gravity. I guess we can navigate by the sun, really. So the sun's out there. We want to be heading toward the sun, so, so a little bit of a left turn. And we'll be going, uh, going the right way. We are transmitting data. Or no, we're gathering data. Apple's doing science while this is happening right now. Uh oh. Oh shoot. I don't know what happened. Uh oh. Um. Oh. Oh. We gotta keep the wheels moving. We gotta. We gotta hope for a spin. We gotta hope for some kind of spin. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna really miss those rockets now. If I had those rockets, I should have left the rockets on. Oh man, well, I guess the good news is that the uh, solar panels are a little bit better aligned now. Well, that one isn't. Um, can he get out? Yeah, I think he can. Yeah, he can. I mean, it's not a good idea. He's in space, but um, I wonder if we could push it, though. Let's see if we can push it. It's pretty low gravity. Might be able to flip it. Might be able to do the halo flip. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, affable. Oh, maybe from the top? Maybe just, like, slam in... I bet if we slam into it, like, right here. Just like, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, okay, yes, but, like, more velocity. Okay, got to get a little, little runway going here. Oh my god, it's almost 6 o'clock, I have a meeting at 6. <laughs> Wow, time blue here. I am uh, really blowing it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yes. <gasps> oh no! Oh god, that almost came down on his head. Oh jeez. Oh man. Okay, that didn't really help. Oh. 
All right, maybe that, but with like half the force. So like we'll just come back here a little bit and uh, like something like this. Oh, hey, you know what? I think that's barely gonna work. Oh no, it's it's gonna it's going back. Okay, that was close though. That, but like ten percent more. This is like the dumbest version of Mario Golf. Okay. Um, I'm also making sure we still have enough mono propellant. All right. Nope, missed. Oh, we're going for a ride. Oh boy, <laughs> Apple's not very happy right now. Oh, oh, this could take a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe from this side. No, that'll explode the thing. Hmm. All right, here we go. No time for uh, half measures. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay, the spoiler slides up again, though. That, 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 this side's gonna be a little easier to hit. Let's try to make this work. Oh my god, I think it's going. I think it's going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. It's so close every time. I don't I don't think it's the wheels that I don't think the wheels are actually on, they're just spinning from friction. I don't I mean there's nothing controlling it right now, so they're not actually spinning. Um I think I just need to give it a little more oomph. Yeah, there we go. That looks really good. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Now, can Affable stand up again, though? I think Affable maybe got a bit of a concussion on this last attempt. Um, uh oh, Affable's not looking good. Oh, 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 yes. Okay, and... Wow, that was close, folks. <laughs> I'm going to put the brakes on. Wow, wow, wow. That very was good. very good. Very good. Okay. It hasn't really solved our problem. Um, this is still insane. But um, we can drive again. Slowly. That looks so far away at one meter per second. Oh, man. I think maybe it's best if we just stay here then and do the science that we can do from here. I think that makes sense. Well, the other thing we do is try doing the auto drive, uh, the Bon Voyage mod here. Um, and uh, so let's see, can we do this? Um, let's say we want to go over here. Let it go. Now we need to switch to another vessel. Switch to this um, relay that's... Actually, I was curious about this anyway. This says it's landed, but like... Is it? I don't know why a relay would be landed. I'm not sure what this was. Whoa. Oh, this was our weird space plane thing. Oh, and somehow it's just, like, on the ground over here? Oh. I guess that's how it ended, huh? We just... 
We ran out of fuel and it's just kind of on its side like a beached whale. Well, anyway, um, let's go to the tracking station and see if our if our rover with Appable inside is slowly uh, roving. Um, I guess it's not set as a, as a rover. Uh, I don't know what we call this thing. Um... Ah, Minmus Site Phi? I don't know that that's that. I don't think that's Appleful. Um, Appleful's over here, so let's see. Okay, there's the debris. Oh, it's a ship. Okay. We never retitled it. Okay, so now we're going to speed it up. Oh my god, it's moving. Okay, so using the autopilot, oh, look at that, it's actually taking a, a um, somewhat circuitous route. That's interesting. Using the autopilot, this thing can actually get a lot of science done, I think. Wow, look at it go. All the way over here now. So now we'll uh, take control of that. Um, I am going to have to go now, so I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was a fun stream. I'll be back um, possibly tomorrow. But uh, maybe not. We have to take Toby to the vet to get a booster shot. Toby's getting boosted. And then I have a somewhat busy afternoon. Oh, I am going to stream tomorrow. Oh. Well, anyway, bye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow night, when I, where I will stream at 6.30 Pacific. Sorry, Apple. Bye. Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah! No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Don't open the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Please join us for, um... Nope. Nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> the hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh, no, the engine's too big. Join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket-propelled grenade. Oh no! No! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No! I live on the edge! No, you don't! <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Oh, no! Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my god, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, this part's not going to be used. Ready for the knowledge. Hi! This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. Ah, you piece of shit! You did it! <laughs> that was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. <laughs>